back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all well, enjoying good weather, good health, and all the blessings of Allah. So uh, this video is going to be about uh, 23's most favorite five perfumes for me. So I'm going to share uh, my five, one to five, five to one perfume collection with you, which I'm going to use for uh, next few months maybe. So watch the video till the end and uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And don't forget to press the bell icon. Let's start. So to be honest, I'm not going to rank. Uh, it's just going to be about most uh, favorite five perfumes. So the first one is, um, this is by Armani. It's called Diamond. For a long time, uh, I think Beyonce or Rihanna was the model for this brand. And then they, uh, the brand ambassador for this uh, perfume. And then she started her own skincare. I think Rihanna, yes. It was Rihanna. Uh, she started her own perfume collection, so then uh, they must have changed their model. So what is so special about this perfume? Let's try it a bit. See, um, everybody knows, as a research, every person has a uh, different sense of smell and it varies by 40%. So I'm going to try and uh, I'll let you know what I, can, what I smell out of it and uh, how it mixes with my body hormones and how it actually is for me. I smell berries and a bit of vanilla and when I was doing my research about this it actually mentions a bit of um, elaichi as well but I don't know why I'm unable to smell that. But overall, it's a floral smell and it's a very fresh uh, smell. So I am actually uh, wearing it every other day at work. And this is one of my, it's the fifth, not the fifth one, but it's one of the uh, favorites. The next perfume I'm going to be using most of the times, which I, or I'm already using it a lot, is uh, I think it's by Al Majidia Oud, uh, Amajid Al Oud. It's a very famous uh, brand in Saudi and people actually love its products and uh, they have a huge range of perfumes. So this is the bottle. It's a really, really pretty bottle. And uh, this is basically for uh, unisex. It's a very strong perfume and uh, I mean oud and it has a very Arabic smell. The nodes are like, for me, I feel a bit of a very fresh smell from a tree and something from the ocean. And means like feels like you are sitting on, o on an ocean and there's a tree and uh, it's a fresh air from the ocean and a beautiful smell from the tree and it's blue. That's how I feel about it. So I feel rainy rainy when I smell this so that means I will be wearing this one when it's a rainy day and uh, my mood is like a rain so I will <laughs> Applying this product on a rainy day, maybe. The next one is the Gucci Guilty, which everybody knows, of course. It's not a, a fruity smell. It's a. I'm still unable to figure it out. I love the smell, but I have never thought about it. It's a very feminine smell and a very classy, clean kind of smell. <sighs> so nice but I cannot actually you know uh, differentiate about the nodes or what is the composition of it next favorite uh, for 2023 is going to be uh, this bottle this is from Hugo Boss and this is called orange for women and uh, uh, let's smell this first as its name mentions uh, it's basically a fruity smell and uh, the notes or the, the smell actually is uh, apple and some orange and very feminine smell but a fruity smell so how I feel about this perfume is um, since it's like a fruity smell 
I feel I'm in a uh, orchard of uh, oranges and it's all green and uh, also some apples and uh, oranges and it's a very smooth kind of smell you know not very uh, very very fruity but very uh, feminine and refreshing and uh, I must say um, sweet and uh, the last the first and the last of this video is uh, CK euphoria I will be honest with you, uh, this is one of my most uh, favorite of all my collection and I think all the perfumes I've ever used, this one is something I always go and buy again and again and I'm going to buy it again once this one finishes. This is no doubt, it actually, you know, creates euphoria, like its name. I'm still not able to, you know, uh, differentiate the, frag the fragrance, the the nodes or what but it's just refreshing and very very um, captivating smell I mean I just love this perfume and the best part about this is it stays on your uh, clothes for a very long time even if you wash it would still <laughs> stay and it stays on your hair so I actually put it on my hair as well mm, it makes me feel so fresh and so nice and um, just love it so uh, this was all about uh, all my five favorite uh, perfumes for 2023 and uh, the next purchases I'll make I'll be definitely making more videos and about more reviews about perfumes and um, sharing what I actually like and uh, some input about some information something about the perfumes hope you like the video take good care of yourself and I will watch you in my next video